Hi! Most of the streets in New York City are just blocks, which means that streets are just like straight. Broadway though is an exception. It starts in northwest corner of Manhattan, uh, gets closer to Central Park and then kind of carves a little bit and then ends in Financial District. You're probably familiar with this famous pool statue where everybody takes pictures and people touch the pool balls and I don't know what that means. Anyways, I was in the library the other day and I found this book. The first page says, one of the greatest things you can do in life is walk around New York. William J. Hennessy put a lot of time, effort, and knowledge into making this book. It's so like detailed. It has so much information about this or that building, everything. So I'm gonna follow this book, meaning follow Broadway. And yeah, this is my mission today. I'll start from here and go all the way down here. It's 13 miles, which is uh, a lot of kilometers. I've been waiting for this day for six weeks, I swear to God. I've been willing to do this for six weeks and I could not because it was minus 15 degrees outside and finally today is 10 degrees. I am so excited that I don't have to wear 55 layers today. Yeah. We should definitely pack some lunch before we go. This is gonna be a long walk. I also want to let you know real quick that I don't do this for YouTube. I do YouTube because I do shit like this. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm gonna bike on three bridges of New York today and I find those three bridges and I bike on those three bridges and I have this crazy accomplishment sensation, God knows why. So yeah, this is just a normal day, but I'm gonna be filming today. That's what's different. Cilantro, kale, purple cabbage. Lemon, salt, pepper, apple cider vinegar, extra virgin olive oil. Mix it up. My best friend. Hemp seeds and sunflower seeds. some hummus and chips for snack. I'm bringing a lot of food with me. I'm changed, packed, caffeinated, ready to go. I'm gonna take two trains and it's gonna take two hours for me to reach the starting point. It's nice and warm outside, so happy. this was a long journey okay so this is where manhattan begins this is a broadway bridge that connects bronx and manhattan and i am going that way all the way down so yes let's go Let me share what I learned so far. When the Dutch people first arrived here in the beginning of 17th century, they settled down in the southernmost part of the island, which is here. That's where the harbors were, that's where the business got done. They followed the indigenous tracks and they designed the, the street like that. Um, of course, it was not called Broadway in the beginning, like New York was called New Amsterdam. Uh, I think Broadway was called Herestraat if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then as the city started to grow northward, of course, the Broadway became longer and longer. And now it's the longest street in New York City and the most popular one. Also, I don't know if you know, the word Manhattan was first found in the writings of, um, what's the guy's name? Hudson means Mm, like woodsy area where you can find wood to make bows because indigenous tribes used to hunt here a lot and they needed arrows and bows. The name Manhattan basically means woodsy area, like a thicket. And it's funny because this place is nothing like that anymore. It's the most 
uh, industrial <laughs> place ever. Also, Book says very interesting thing that in 1920s, 80% of people who crossed the Atlantic Ocean were coming to New York. As we walk down, you'll guys see that the buildings will get taller and taller. I feel like I'm a tourist in a city where I've been living for four and a half years. Guys, do you remember that pigeon lady from Home Alone? Well, that's her right there. You can probably notice that the buildings are very similar in this area. In the beginning of 20th century, Midtown and Downtown were becoming a place for work and they needed to expand the city and make more residential areas. They needed to build houses really fast and they didn't have time to design different kinds of buildings and different kinds of architecture so that's why they are pretty similar this used to be a movie theater and the book says that in the early years of 20th century there was a movie theater every couple of blocks in the neighborhood today only one theater building remains That's Columbia University, my friends. I'm carrying a book like this to blend in a little bit with these guys here. I haven't seen these many students since 2017 when I graduated college. Salad is really good, it's refreshing, healthy, feeling. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty full and very happy and I'm gonna go on my way. I think I walked 104 blocks and have 116 more to go. And here's a little video collage of the sounds of New York. <laughs> and honking is one of them. That is the sound of New York. Next time you watch a movie that's set in New York, pay attention that they all use that sound as a background noise. All the time. They do it in Hollywood all the time. I found this cool bookstore. Look at this. I'm in this neighborhood called Upper West Side. If you watched Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, that's where she lives. This is a very fancy, very expensive neighborhood. And what I notice is a lot of immigrant nannies with kids. And I noticed that because I was one of them when I first came to New York. I worked for a very rich American family. We are getting closer to the part Broadway is famous for, which is its entertainment district, uh, musicals, theaters, and so on and so on. It's getting dark. I think it's been four and something hours since I stepped out, and I am getting a little tired. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna need a very nice stretch when I get home.
probably have 10 more blocks left and I am very, very tired at this point. I don't even know why I'm doing this right now. I wanna quit, but I won't. My toes hurt, my hips hurt, my spine hurts, everything hurts. Oh my god, I see the bull statue. Here is the moment of excitement, ladies and gents. I'm getting very, very close. Nice. <laughs> wow. Remember I told you people touch the bull balls? I did some research and it turns out that it's a symbol of good luck and fertility. I thought it would be about money since it's in Wall Street, but it's um, fertility. All right, well, this is where it ends. Well, actually, Broadway starts from here and it ends where I started, but you get my point. I finished the walk. I finished the walk. I walked the entire fucking Broadway. Okay, let's rewind a little bit and remember when I said, I feel like I'm a tourist in the city where I've been living for four and a half years. That's the reason why I made this whole video. Let me read a quote from the book. So what kind of book is this? On the most fundamental level, it's about walking and looking about observing and wondering. A walk can be a journey of discovery. We may choose to amble, pausing whenever we like to look up, down, or around. We permit ourselves to study things in time. As we move along, structures catch our eye and prompt question. I wonder what it is. Why is it here? What goes on inside? Who built it? When? Why does it look that way? In the end, this is a book about the experience of looking and thinking. End of quote. So if you are someone like me, someone who lives for a little adventures, and if you're stuck in one place like I am, not being able to go places, maybe you should do the same. Just look up the longest or the most interesting or the most boring street of your town, walk it down, listen to its sounds, smile at its people, soak up the atmosphere, and enjoy being an explorer. We can be adventurous in our own cities. And here we go. Now we have a story to tell. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you. Take care. I'll see you soon.